Yes, good evening everyone. Welcome to Lukman IS. This is DTRS session, Daily Tucker Rapid Series. What we are doing in this lecture series, daily we are discussing 10 quality MCQs based on the current affairs of day and previous day we can say. This is class 173 and today we are going to cover yesterday's as well as we can say 31st and 1st February based 20 MCQs. Uh, we can say the current development. The lead topic is LIDAR technology. It was in news. But before that, we will discuss one quotation which is helping us to prepare for mains examination, essay and ethics paper. So today's quote is by Rabindranath Tagore. The flower which is single need not to envy the thorns that are numerous. It has a deeper meaning, we can say. The flower which is single need not to envy the thorns that are numerous. Right, so here flower... And thorns. Okay. So flower is single. Basically, here it is talking about the person. Which person? Honest person. Or we can say person with we can say good character. And we can say that honest, good character, knowledgeable person, and the thorns. We can say illiterate. Irrational. Dishonest. Corrupt. Thorns matlab problem create karne wale basically. Hurt karne wale. Violent. Or we can say that dishonest, corrupt, irrational, illiterate. So there will be many such thorns in the society. But the honest person... The flower need not to be envious of them. Okay. Shayad corrupt person ke paas bahut sara we can say that paisa hoga. He will be having money. He will be having luxurious car. Or we can say watches or home also. So he should not envy about them. Because we, he should be understanding that this is unethical. They are doing we can say unethical things. Through unethical conduct. Ultimately, they will be punished one way or other way, right? So, they should not be envious of these. Rather, the honest person, good person with good character, they themselves are beautiful, beautiful like flower. Their soul is beautiful. Okay. Their soul is pure. We can say pure soul. So that's why the correlation with flower and that's why the correlation with thorns, right? This way we can even start with the essay paper. Agar aapko essay aata hai. Yeah, you can relate that. Uh, you can yourself bring in this quotation whenever it is relevant. Let's talk about today's 20 topics. These are the 20 topics. So let's go in detail one by one. First MCQ, online students. You should also give your answers in the comment box or if you have any doubt, you can ask there. So, LIDAR technology, it is the light detection and ranging full form. So, science and technology say past may is the question I nay nay technologies and their application, how they work. So, whenever we talk about science and technology, two things you should keep in mind. How the technology works, it's basic you should know. And its application the only these two types of questions have been asked in past if you see any kind of question look at this which of the following areas can gps technology be used applications okay and generally technology ke day to day applications rather upsc focus karta hai right so gps receiver is the primary component of lidar instrument lidar instrument is having uh, we can say uh, three components <coughs> laser Scanner and GPS receiver. So yes, one of them is GPS receiver. We can say that. So this one is correct. Now there are two types of we can say lidar applications. One is terrestrial and second is bathymetric. Bathymetric मतलब जो होता है वो सी से related है deep inside the sea, bathy. So we can say that it is related to depth of the sea and all.
right bathymetric lidar technology now these two uses different kind of we can say that uh, 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 radiations so basically the terrestrial technology is using this near infrared radiations ठीक है यहां पर बैथीमेट्रिक लिखा है ना तो वो नहीं है तो बैथीमेट्रिक में जो है जो विजिबल लाइट होता है उसका एक कंपोनेंट होता है दैट कैन प्रेनेट ठीक है विजिबल लाइट का रिमेंबर दिस सो सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इज इनकरेक्ट ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर राइट सो लीडर टेक्नोलॉजी इज लार्जली यू नो हैविंग एप्लीकेशन लाइक हम देखते हैं एयरक्राफ्ट का लैंडिंग का अगर देखते हैं जैसे कि अभी दिल्ली में फॉक चल रहा है तो एयरक्राफ्ट हेलीकॉप्टर वेन दे आर लैंडिंग दे आर नॉट हैविंग विजिबिलिटी सो इन सच सिचुएशन द डिवाइसेस लाइक लीडर टेक्नोलॉजी दे कैन हैव अप्रोप्रिएट टेल द अप्रोप्रिएट डिस्टेंस ठीक है दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड दट अप्रोप्रिएट डिस्टेंस एंड दे कैन टेल द पायलट द राइट काइंड ऑफ वी कैन से डिस्टेंस तो वो सही तरीके से लैंडिंग कर सकते हैं ऐसे सिचुएशन में ठीक है फाइन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ठीक है तो ये जो टोपोग्राफिक है लियर नियर व्हाट यू कैन से टेरेस्ट्रियल या टोपोग्राफिक लीडर जो होता है इट इज टिपिकली यूजिंग नियर इंफ्रारेड एंड द बैथमेट्रिक इट इज द वाटर पेनिट्रेटिंग ग्रीन लाइट ठीक है तो विजिबल लाइट यूज होता है उसमें नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाइट राइनो ओके तो व्हाइट राइनो से रिलेटेड ये स्टेटमेंट है वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सो वट शुड बी आंसर टू दिस वन फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट व्हाइट राइनो सो it can be naturally found on some islands of southeast asia only see when we talk about the southeast asia there are two sub species of rhino javan rhino and sumatran rhino theek hai javan rhino and sumatran rhino but white rhino and black rhino they are in africa they are in africa theek hai so you should know about this now within that white rhino there are northern white rhino टू सब स्पेसिस एंड सदर्न वाइट राइनो उनका अलग अलग आयुषियन स्टेटस है हम बोल सकते हैं राइट सो इट इज इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इट इज अमंग द फ्यू राइनो स्पेसिस इन द वर्ल्ड हैविंग वन हॉर्न नाउ यू शुड नो दैट वन हॉर्न एंड टू हॉर्न ठीक है अब कौन से कौन से इसमें वन हॉर्न होता है कौन से कौन से इसमें टू हॉर्न होता है This thing you should know, ठीक है तो वन हॉर्न इंडिया में हम देखते हैं इंडिया ग्रेटर वन हॉर्न राइनो इज देर ठीक है एंड दिस व्हाइट राइनो इज ऑल्सो वी कैन से दैट इट इज हैविंग वन हॉर्न बट टू हॉर्न कहां पर होता है जैसे जो है जावन जावन राइनो इज देर ठीक है एंड लेट मी टेल यू दैट अदर अगर देखते हैं हम राइट सो यू कैन सी हेयर इंडियन राइनो एंड जावन राइनो पजेस ओनली वन हॉर्न ठीक है और बाकी के जो है जो व्हाइट राइनो ब्लैक राइनो और वी कैन से सुमात्रन राइनो सो व्हाइट राइनोज एंड सुमात्रन राइनोज दे आर हैविंग वी कैन से टू हॉर्न ठीक है व्हाइट राइनोज एंड सुमात्रन राइनोज फाइन इट इज लिस्टेड एज क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड बाय द आयुषियन रेलडेस नाउ इट इज इनकरेक्ट ठीक है तो ये सही है बट दिस इज इनकरेक्ट so what we can say here right white rhino is having two horns and we can say that northern white rhino is critically endangered southern is near threatened so basically white rhino as the broader species near threatened uska iucn status hai so we can say that it is incorrect statement second statement is also incorrect this one is incorrect this one is also incorrect so none of them that is d is the correct answer here theek hai yes good evening vijay now next question okay there was a snow leopard assessment population assessment in india recently and it has come up with its data so first ever scientific exercise to report the snow leopard population in india that is true worldwide fund for nature is the national coordinator now this is not correct the national coordinator for this survey was wildlife world uh, sorry wildlife institute of india wii dehradun based institute wildlife institute 
इन एसोसिएशन विद दिस वर्ल्ड वाइड फंड फॉर नेचर ठीक है इनके साथ उन्होंने कोलैबोरेशन किया था बट नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर इज दिस वन सो दिस इज इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट जम्मू एंड कश्मीर टॉप द लिस्ट विद द हाईएस्ट नंबर ऑफ स्नो लेपर अगेन इट इज इनकरेक्ट लडाख इज हैविंग हाईएस्ट नंबर ऑफ स्नो लेपर्स इन द कंट्री आई विल टेल यू हाउ मच वी कैन से स्नो लेपर्स हैव बीन फाउंड तो इसका आंसर क्या होना चाहिए सो सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इज इनकरेक्ट थर्ड इज इनकरेक्ट सो आंसर विल बी ए only one statement first statement theek hai a is the answer here right so number of leopards agar dekhenge hum theek hai to you can see here based on the analysis and estimates ladakh 477 ladakh 477 then uttarakhand 127 124 himachal pradesh arunachal pradesh sikkim and jammu and kashmir the least theek hai jammu and kashmir the least fine moving on yes about the kangaroo lizard yes the new species of kangaroo lizard was recently discovered in western ghats that's why it was in news yes the kangaroo lizards are the endemic species of western ghats the dense equatorial forest or we can say evergreen forest so it is endemic to that region it is the largest species of lizard no it is very tiny species of lizard largely it lives in we can say that the the dead litter or we can say dead leaves that are fallen on the ground okay so it is not the climber it is very poor climber and do not climb the trees like other lizard so this is correct behavior this one is incorrect b is the correct answer theek hai so you should know about this uh, the species which are in news so you should cover the scientists discover new kangaroo lizard species that's why it was it was in news theek hai okay now what about this one grantham inscriptions recently they were discovered so that's why it is in news it was created during the gupta period now gupta period belong to which time period 3rd century ad to 5th century ad but the grantham inscriptions they belong to basically <coughs> three time periods from 6th ad onwards from 6th ad onwards theek hai so you should know about this grantham inscriptions they are designed as a religious symbols not of buddhism to represent the administration of gupta period again it is incorrect rather it is showing the <coughs> tamil society and its culture at that time period इन द प्रेजेंट डे तमिलनाडु ठीक है तो इट इज डिपिक्टेड इन बोथ पाली एंड संस्कृत फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग कॉल ऑल कम्युनिटीज नो इट इज इन संस्कृत एंड तमिल वी कैन से दैट सो अगेन इट इज इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट तीनों इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट है यहां पर ठीक है तो डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर अबाउट दिस ग्रंथम डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है यस हम्म तो तमिलनाडु में ये जो इंस्क्रिप्शन मिला हुआ है बहुत सारा डिटेल में आपको दिया हुआ है ग्रंथम क्या होता है और उसके बारे में ठीक है नाउ डिस्क्रिप्शन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन यस दिस फोर्ट वाज बिल्ट इन 33 एडी एंड स्प्रेड ओवर 200 प्लस एकर एक्टेड एज अ सेंटर ऑफ पावर ऑफ मैते किंग्स द साइट ऑफ इट्स मेनी रिचुअल्स एंड फेस्टिवल्स द ओल्ड गोविंदा जी टेम्पल द हिंदू वैष्णव टेम्पल इज लोकेटेड नेक्स्ट टू द फोर्ट so which which of the following fort now you can eliminate two here shivneri and sinhagad fort are from maratha forts we can say maharashtra Mar, let's say built by maratha kings so this is incorrect now lachitgarh lachitgarh generally we can relate that to assam lachit borfukan ahom kings and kingdom so we can eliminate this and i would correct, mark this as a kangla fort yes kangla fort is located in we can say that <clears throat> the capital of manipur imphal theek hai to manipur ke jo capital imphal mein city mein hai this has been the let's say power center for maitei kings so a is the correct answer here okay recently it was in news they they have taken some kind of oath theek hai to wo uski wajah se news mein hai right you can see here why the radical maitei outfit chose imphal's kangla fort to summon legislators kangla fort ठीक है ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन 
with respect to payment banks the paytm payment banks it was in use rbi had put some kind of restrictions on its use of wallet theek hai to sir does it belong to sangam age ha if we talk about that uh, we can say inscriptions they these inscriptions belong to sangam age right with respect to payment banks <coughs> they were recommended by usha thorat committee now this is not correct right nachiket mor committee payments bank theek hai nachiket mor committee kab ki hai ye committee 2013 from 2000 it can advance loans and credit but cannot accept deposits now this is not correct it can accept demand deposits up to 2 lakh up to 2 lakh but we can say that it does not accept or cannot accept we can say time deposit or nri deposits time deposits or nri deposits dono jo hai wo nahi ho sakta yahan par theek hai demand deposits up to 2 lakh they can accept so this becomes incorrect theek hai debit card wo kar sakta hai but credit card nahi kar sakta hai loan advance nahi kar sakta hai so half statement is incorrect half is correct Overall statement will be incorrect. Both statements are incorrect here. What should be the answer? Very good. D is the correct answer. Right. Let's move on to next question. Yes, lichens. They are considered as bio indicators. We know that they have symbiotic relation of fungus and algae. Algae provides, we can say, food because they are autotrophic. They do photo photosynthesis. while fungus provide necessary moisture for this algae because algae require moisture they are largely aquatic but agar land pe rehna hai to moisture ki zarurat hai that will be provided by the fungus so algae uh, they are providing food to fungus and we can say fungus are heterotrophic this is the symbiotic relation now lichens they can live uh, whenever there is uh, lack of availability of soil they can live in uh, on the we can say <coughs> rocks bare rocks they are the first और वी कैन से पायोनियर स्पेसीज जिसको बोला गया इकोलॉजिकल सक्सेशन में पायोनियर स्पेसीज नाउ दे डू नॉट परफॉर्म फोटोसिंथेसिस दे डू परफॉर्म नो अलगी इज प्रोवाइडिंग वी कैन से फोटोसिंथेसिस थ्रू फूड थ्रू फोटोसिंथेसिस यस दे आर बायो इंडिकेटर्स एंड बायो मॉनिटर्स दे बेसिकली आर प्रोवाइडिंग सम आइडिया अबाउट द क्वालिटी एंड क्वांटिटी ऑफ पोल्यूशन इन द एनवायरमेंट सो दे आर वेरी रेजिलियंट टू पोल्यूशन they are resilient to pollution and they are you know uh, reacting differently with different kinds of pollutants theek hai to alag alag kind of pollutants ko alag way se wo react karta hai so that's why they are considered as bio indicators and bio monitors this one is correct first one is correct so b is the correct answer very good theek hai so b is the correct answer now moving on करप्शन परसेप्शन इंडेक्स वॉज इन न्यूज रिसेंटली ठीक है तो विच एजेंसी और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिलीज दिस ट्रांसपेरेंसी इंटरनेशनल इट इज नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ठीक है तो दैट पर्टिकुलर एजेंसी इज रिलीजिंग इंडिया हैज बीन रैंक्ड नाइंटी थर्ड इन दिस एडिशन ठीक है नेशनल सॉरी करप्शन परसेप्शन इंडेक्स टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन ट्रांसपेरेंसी इंटरनेशनल वन मोर एम सी क्यू इज देर सो फॉर द straight six time denmark has been declared as a first ranker in this index theek hai denmark fine india ranks 93rd out of 180 theek hai now economic survey ke liye basic question hai it is the detailed annual report of the state of national economy in the financial year which is coming to close so basically it is analyzing we can say the the situation of economy in the existing year and it's also provide some inputs recommendations for we can say upcoming years future what kind of policy measures should be taken by the government although these recommendations are not binding these are not binding so this one is incorrect first one is correct so we can say a is the correct answer also there is no constitutional provision related to economic survey generally economic survey is released on the previous day of the budget jaise 1 february ko abhi budget hua to usse ek din pehle jo hai wo economic survey release hota hai but this year as there is a interim budget 
interim budget whenever there is we can say general elections in that year so full fledged budget is not presented by the union government once the new government is formed after general elections there will be full fledged यूनियन बजट फॉर द रिमेनिंग टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द ईयर तो अभी जो दो तीन महीने बचे हैं उस टाइम पीरियड के लिए ये एक इंटरिम बजट होता है बाय द गवर्नमेंट राइट सो एक दिन पहले जो है इकोनॉमिक सर्वे रिलीज होता है बट यस्टरडे देर वॉज नो इकोनॉमिक सर्वे रिलीज बिकॉज इट इज द इंटरिम बजट ठीक है तो ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर हिस्सा मूविंग ऑन यस सो फाइव न्यू Ramsar sites have been declared in India now taking count to total 80 theek hai abhi india mein total 80 ramsar sites ho gaye hai so let's see this news it's very important but let's try to solve this question first magadi keri conservation reserve basically this is in karnataka theek hai aghana shini estuary it is again in karnataka not in andhra pradesh longwood shola forest Reserve forest, it's in Tamil Nadu. So you can see all three are incorrectly matched here. ठीक है? तो none of the above D is the correct answer here. Now, which are all these five? <coughs> Let's see. The three are there in Karnataka and two are there in Tamil Nadu. Okay. So this Magadi Kar uh, Conservation Reserve is in Karnataka. Aghasin Aghanasini Estuary is in Karnataka. Longwood Shola Reserve Forest is in Tamil Nadu. then further two are there anka samudra bird sanctuary it's in karnataka and karaivatti bird sanctuary is in tamil nadu theek hai so at present there are total 80 ramsar sites highest number of ramsar sites are there in tamil nadu 16 theek hai at present so today we have we are celebrating world wetland day also 2nd february why because on this day in 1971 ramsar convention was signed theek hai then it was enforced in 1975 to baki sab cheeze aap padhte hain regularly revise kar lijiye theek hai very good yes now stamp duty basic se question hai it can be levied by the central government but appropriated by the concerned state government within their territories under the provisions of article 268 of the constitution now this is correct stamp duty is basically essentially government tax the tax that is levied on the economic transactions whenever there is you know registration of any property or agreement so that is basically done on the stamp right so stamp paper that is we call it as bond paper theek hai bolta hai na ki bond paper pe likh ke de wala jo concept hota hai jo orally hum trust nahi karte to bond paper pe likh ke de so basically it is uh, the stamp paper and it is having certain we can say cost is 100 rupees 500 rupees 5000 rupees such kind of stamp papers are there and it basically that money goes to the government so it is levied by the central government and appropriated by the respective concerned state governments it cannot be accepted as a valid evidence in the court of law rather it is accepted theek hai cannot kaise hoga nahi to kya value hai uski right so whenever there is property dispute it is accepted as a valid uh, we can say that uh, evidence so this is incorrect statement it can be levied on both bills of exchange and promissory notes this is correct okay whenever we talk about the agreements or when we exchanging any property it is bills of exchange or we can say promissory notes we are promising something that i will do this thing and I, so we can say that it is uh, levied on both right so what should be the answer here b is the correct answer ठीक है मूविंग ऑन दिस टर्म वॉज इन न्यूज वॉट इज दैट यस स्पायरोथेका वर्षा भू ओके वॉट इज दट यस इट इज द न्यू स्पेसीज ऑफ फ्रॉग फाउंड इन द वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स ठीक है इट इज अ न्यू स्पेसीज ऑफ फ्रॉग ठीक है सो इट वॉज इन न्यूज रिसेंटली इन द हिंदू सो वी हैव कवर्ड देयर and many times the term based questions can be there in your uh, prelims examination look at this a uh, new species of burrowing frog in western ghats fine the baki cheeze itna important nahi hai right what about this one the advantages of bio computers recently why it was in news the uh, alan musk company theek hai jo hai unhone bola hai ki they have successfully used the bio chips बायो कंप्यूटर्स 
थ्रू सर्जरी इन ह्यूमन ब्रेन ठीक है तो ये वाला यूज में है कॉन्सेप्ट बायो कंप्यूटर्स राइट सो यस बायो प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा डिकोडिंग पैथोलॉजी बायोलॉजिकल बेसिस ऑफ ह्यूमन कॉग्निशन यस ऑल थ्री आर द एप्लीकेशन वी कैन से और एडवांटेजेस वी कैन से सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर रिलेटेड टू बायो कंप्यूटर्स एमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज वो बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट होता है हमारे एग्जाम के लिए एमर्जिंग हर साल आप देखेंगे इस तरीके से क्वेश्चन राइट वट अबाउट दिस वन यस देर इज रिपीटेशन वी कैन से बट द डिफरेंट वे वी हैव आज दिस क्वेश्चन ट्रांसपेरेंसी इंटरनेशनल रिलीजेस द एनुअल करप्शन परसेप्शन इंडेक्स जस्ट नाउ वी हैव सीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इंडेक्स हैज बिन रिलीज इंडिया हैज बिन रैंक नाइनटी थर्ड आउट ऑफ वन एटी ठीक है तो दिस इज द सिचुएशन इंडिया रैंक्स सॉरी इट रैंक्स द कंट्रीज एंड टेरिटरीज बाय देयर परसिव लेवल ऑफ पब्लिक सेक्टर करप्शन पब्लिक सेक्टर मतलब जो गवर्नमेंट और एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन में करप्शन होता है फिनलैंड टॉप द इंडेक्स सिक्स टाइम जस्ट नाउ आई टोल्ड यू दैट इट इज द डेनमार्क ठीक है इट इज द डेनमार्क वी कैन से दिस वन इज इन करेक्ट ओनली टू स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट हियर ठीक है यस वेरी गुड सो वी कैन से बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर वट अबाउट दिस वन Yes, the world typhoon. This term sometimes you come across world typhoon. You may you know confuse, get confused with the temperate cyclone, tr cyclone, tropical cyclone, or we can say that any kind of uh, missile or something. But it is the state-sponsored hacking group based in China. ठीक है world typhoon very famous है बहुत बार अभी news में होता है because of cyber attacks. It is in news because of cyber attacks. so this has been responsible for several cyber attacks in india also volt typhoon a is the correct answer we we, are, we can expect such kind of question theek okay? hai what about this one chemical fertilizers in the country urea is the second most commonly used fertilizer in india after diammonium phosphate dap jisko bola jata hai now this is incorrect reverse rather dap is the second most after urea urea comes first the highest Uh, let's say amount of fertilizer used in the country is of urea second is dap right so it is incorrect statement unlike conventional dap which comes in granular form nano dap is in liquid form this is correct recently the government of india unveiled ifco nano urea plant or nano dap also theek hai to ye nano urea nano dap jo hai liquid form mein it is more efficient it is more efficient so second statement is correct here right so answer should be b right moving on right so animal husbandry infrastructure development fund yes the fund was created as a part of prime minister atmanirbhar bharat stimulus package after covid pandemic this is correct and this fund is implemented by ministry of agriculture now this is not correct there is separate ministry of fisheries and animal husbandry and dairying ye ek separate ministry hai there is department of animal husbandry and dairy under this ministry this is incorrect a credit guarantee fund is created for uh, under ai ahidf that is managed by sidbi now it is managed by nabard it is managed by nabard so this one is factually incorrect we can say only one statement is correct about this fund so again it is let's say the fund that is responsible for creating the infrastructure infrastructure development in animal husbandry sector all right next is yes recently this ayushman bharat प्रधानमंत्री आयुष्मान भारत और वी कैन से जन आरोग्य योजना पीएम जे ए वाई हैज बिन एक्सटेंडेड टू ऑल द आशा वर्कर्स एंड अंगनवाड़ी वर्कर्स इन द कंट्री ठीक है तो इट इज एक्सटेंशन सो यहां पर किसी तरीके का इनकम और वो वाला चीज नहीं है सारे आशा वर्कर्स और आंगनवाड़ी वर्कर्स को दिया जाएगा बेनिफिट यू विन प्लेटफॉर्म इज क्रिएटेड फॉर मैनेज फॉर मैनेजिंग हेल्थ सर्विसेस ऑफ ऑल आशा एंड नाउ दिस इज इनकरेक्ट यू विन प्लेटफॉर्म इज बींग लेट से क्रिएटेड टू इंटीग्रेट द डेटा and the management of indradhanush scheme which is related to we can say 
वैक्सीनेशन इंद्रधनुष स्कीम इज रिलेटेड टू वैक्सीनेशन इन द कंट्री ठीक है तो यू विन प्लेटफॉर्म इज रिलेटेड टू दिस इट इज इन करेक्ट आंसर इज वन ओनली एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे ऑल राइट वेटलैंड स्टेटमेंट्स आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन प्रॉपर्टीज बट द ट्रिक हियर इज कमांड इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई वेटलैंड आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फ्लड कंट्रोल वाटर प्यूरिफिकेशन वाटर रेगुलेशन ऑल दीज आर वी कैन से एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वेटलैंड सिग्निफिकेंस और सर्विसेस प्रोवाइडेड बाई द वेटलैंड वेटलैंड आर डिसपेरिंग थ्री टाइम्स फास्टर दैन द फॉरेस्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो फैक्चुअली करेक्ट रिसेंट डेटा शोज दैट wetlands are being encroached comparatively faster than the forest wetlands are endangered due to over exploitation of natural resources by the human beings this is also correct but incorrect bola gaya hai none of them is incorrect theek hai none of them is incorrect so we can say d is the correct answer <coughs> yes you can see this fact wetlands are indeed disappearing at an alarming थ्री टाइम्स फास्टर दैन द फॉरेस्ट ग्लोबली ठीक है तो ये एक स्टडी के थ्रू पाया गया हुआ फैक्ट फाइन एनी क्वेश्चन ओके लेट अस्टॉप देन फाइन थैंक यू